The latest TikTok challenge is duping students into committing crimes like destruction of property and assault at school. On First at Four, Paula Tutman showed us uh, more about this troubling trend and how schools are trying to deal with it. Paula is back now with an expert's view on what is driving this behavior and why parents may face consequences too. Paula? Indeed, this could be playing out at schools, but really what experts are saying is it starts at home. At least an incident per day at Warren's Middle Schools. Students vandalizing and destroying school property so they can video it on their cell phones and share it as a stop on a TikTok social media challenge schedule by users. That has students facing criminal charges at most and suspension from school at the very least. Well, the month of October, the challenge for students is to smack a staff member and capture it on video. Um, Another one is um, to, in January, touch someone inappropriately on their breast. These are not acts of mischief. These are acts of criminality. And as schools struggle to get back into in-person learning and repair learning loss from the COVID lockdown and work to keep students safe from an ongoing pandemic, policing and trying to prevent these acts of vandalism and the threat of assault is a massive resource Time suck. We've been in school a little over a month, um, and some of our schools have dealt with anywhere from two or three of these incidents over the last few weeks to as high as uh, a couple of our middle schools where it's happening once a day. I think several things are happening. I think with all the social media and all the things out there, we're seeing a lot of grownups misbehaving. Dr. Margarita Guri is a psychologist and expert in bad behavior. There are a lot of video shows showing like even like America's best videos show people hurting themselves. It's that willingness to follow that makes this so concerning. When you start to see monthly challenges, and I would say every one of them, uh, if, if not the greater majority of them have serious criminal and you know sexual harassment implications and uh, in an area where there is no opportunity for subjectivity. I think that the trick is how as a society do we come to a herd immunity or herd agreement on social skills, on civility, on kindness, on professionalism. And here's the thing, not only could this give a minor contact with a law that really can't be reversed, but also for damages at school, parents could be held responsible for the cost. And so what our experts are telling us is, parents, talk to your kids. Stop this at home. Paula Tutman, Local 4.